What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the temporary mesh on bioreactor series. This time we are working with S wrappings, an aquatic plant. If you are new to this series, we have 10 temporary immersion bioreactors and I'm filling up one at a time every two weeks. We are also testing different flasks and see which one is the best for each plant. I already made media for this video. If you want to see how to make tissue culture media, check the other videos on the channel. The media for aquatic plants I like to use is half MS media with 25 grams of sucrose, 1 ml polyro of BA, 0.1 ml polyro of NAA, 1 ml polyro of PPM, and 8 grams of agar for one set of flasks and 3 grams of gel and gum for the other set. The flasks are the same as last time. Baby food jars, 250 ml plant cell technology vent flasks, magenta boxes, and 16 ounce deli containers. Each flask we have a small plan and we will make a 10 week comparison to see which one grows faster. Will the plants growing in the temporary mesh on bioreactor grow faster or one of the fla other flasks is going to do better? Do you think gel and gum is better gelling agent for S wrappings than agar? Let me know in the comments. After moving all the plants in the flask, I seal the flask with serene wrap to prevent contamination. I use a PVC cutter to cut the rows of serene or parking wrap. After that, I label them with the name of the plant, date, and agar or gel and gum. Here is an update on the Bacopa flask. The plants growing on agar seems to be larger than the ones growing on gel and gum. However, the plants in gel and gum seem to have more growing points. It's still too early to tell, but this is my theory on what I think is happening. Gal and gum is softer than agar and I believe the plants are extracting more nutrients and hormones from the media. That's why they are multiplying faster as I add multiplication hormones to the media. They still have a long time to go, but let me know what you think in the comments. Drosera capillary grows slower than bacopa, so we will have to wait a bit longer to see any difference. They have grown a little bit, but nothing significant. The good news is that I haven't seen any contamination on any of the experiment. Let's hope it stays that way. Similar to the Drosera capillaris, Darlingtonia californica is also a slow planting tissue culture, so all we can do is wait for at least a few more weeks. Let me know what other plants you want me to experiment with. It may take a while, but I'm going to do my best to find the plants and get them in tissue culture. Here are the plants in the temporary mesh on bioreactors. The Bacopa and the Drosera capillaris has some significant growth. The Darlingtonia hasn't done much and the S. Rappen has just been introduced. Please subscribe to the channel and go visit plantcelltechnology.com for more information.